Hello, it's Jimmy here, the Rallys. So I've got a here, Toyota Pro Ace, which is the same as a Citroen Dispatch or a Peugeot Partner van. He's had a constant issue with DPF warnings coming up, uh, AdBlue warnings, all sorts of emissions related faults. And it's had several attempts on repairing it, which were not successful. So I'm gonna find out what's going on. Okay, so the customer's on a private phone call in there. So we'll come outside and speak about what's going on here. We have some codes for the low pressure fuel circuit, depollution of the Denox system, P20EE, deterioration of the engine oil, low pressure fuel circuit. But he says now, yesterday he did have a service done and they did struggle to get the car restarted or van restarted after the service was done. Um, so it's obviously tried to have the DPF stuff done. Someone's tried to clean the DPF and it wasn't successful. Of course, then they had done the fuel filters. That's why we got fuel pressure, and we got a P two four six three particle filter overloaded. So if we come on to data stream on here, and we go to exhaust line information two, this is the Launch UK Euro Tap three scan tool. Uh, we look at the particle filter pressure. So it does idle at 20 so it's idling at about 19 now so it drops to 10 so you got 10 or 20 and if we hold the revs up we got around about 200 millibars at 3000 rpm so it was just idling at 20 but it fluctuates between 10 and 20 there you can see there 10 20 millibars of pressure now the problem is that if we look at let me see travel between the last 10 regenerations and since the last no not that one since the last regen it's regened just two kilometers ago and it's regening the last 10 regions were every 10 35 kilometers so it's regening persistently because it's trying to get the pressure down but the pressure is not coming down within the dpf which can only mean that the dpf is damaged it's only done 60,000 miles so i doubt it's ash accumulation more than likely going to be a damaged DPF. So basically there, if you can understand what's happening is after the regen's finished, you still got 20 millibars of pressure within the DPF at idle. Um, and then it's still up around 200 as you're cruising at over 2000 RPM. So the van again will shortly attempt to do another regen. It'll fail and fail and fail. And then it sets off the engine management light. He's having it canceled off repeatedly, uh, DPF cleaned and it's not not it's working because the dpf is just damaged it needs a replacement dpf so that's it it's just a diagnostic video on this one and i'll see you on the next video